This is London Calling. Good afternoon again, pot pickers. I'm smoking my Nirup pot, and I'm having my first taste of GQ's Asquith mixture. Now, this isn't a, even the first impressions, um, because quite clearly I've only just uh, mixed the ingredients together, and um, the, the, the instructions are you've got to leave it for at least two weeks um, for the flavours to marry and blend in. But what I wanted to do is really just get a, a really very, very, very early impression and then uh, to uh, take it from there, something a baseline from which to make a comparison. Um, so the initial flavours that I'm getting are really quite harsh, as one might expect. The Virginias, to me, seem to be um, like the type of thing when I first started smoking a pipe and I picked up a, a, a very basic house blend Virginia, I won't mention where, um, and it was really very bitey, very harsh, not bitter, but just very grassy, very sort of bright and just all about the grassiness with nothing else, no sweetness, um, no fruitiness and no depth. Um, and that's really a little bit how it's tasting at the moment. The perique's not coming through, not very much anyway. There is a, a, a bit of pepper on the retrohale, um, but at the moment it's a very savoury smoke. Um, the first initial light was actually quite distasteful, um, but um, as I said, it, this is not a, a, a description of it being good or bad. This is just a description of how it tastes now. Now it's not ready, nowhere near ready. Um, this is just a, a, an impatient taster, um, if you like. Um, so don't take anything from this. This is not a, a, a review of any kind. This is not, as I say, um, saying whether it's good or bad. This is just a, a description of how it tastes right now um, and it's going to need at least two weeks and being a Virginia probably will continue to improve over weeks and months and years. So uh, as I say a very very early impression. So that's the uh, Asquith blend and um, perhaps I'll do a similar kind of short video on the other two when I get a chance to try them. Well I've got to give you a little bit of a postscript um, still smoking in the pot, the Nero pot, um, coming to towards the end of the bowl, and it's it's already evolved a little bit. Um, it's definitely improved. Um, it's really tasting much more like a vapor now. It really has quite a um, a peppery kick to it, um, and a bit more fruitiness, a bit more sweetness is coming through. Um, so this is going to be exciting to see how this develops. Hopefully that peppery kick, which I'm actually enjoying, but I might not like that all the time. Um, so hopefully that will be tempered a little bit with time and will mellow a little bit and the Virginias will sweeten up a little bit more and everything will settle in and, and become more harmonious. Um, and, uh, well, the potential is is, is very good here. Um, early days, but um, I just felt I should come back in because I didn't want to give the impression that I was dissing it from the off, which is which I wasn't doing because it's it's the first impression which... And I said quite clearly that it does need time um, <coughs> as per the instructions. So it's, it's, it's um, really just to, to give you a baseline. I'm not really saying good or bad here. I'm just giving you a baseline from which we can make a comparison in its uh, evolution over time. Um, but um, I just thought I should come back in and really point out about that. Um, that Perique really coming through um, a little bit more now um, and becoming quite punchy. Um, and I think that with time, with that settling down and the Virginia's perhaps becoming a little bit, bit richer, a little bit more prominent, um, it, it bodes very well. So thanks very much and I'll catch you on the next one. This is London Calling.